This is Ms. Smith, your Washington High School Librarian. You are starting your research paper on a controversial topic, a modern issue that people don't agree on how to fix. You need to find unbiased information. Unbiased information is one that presents both sides of the issue equally rather than lean choosing one side over the other. You need to find quality information that will help you complete your paper. And the best place to find quality, unbiased information from trusted book publishers, newspapers, magazines, are library research databases. And the best research database at Washington to help you complete your research project is called Issues Understanding Controversy and Society. I'm going to show you how to get onto this database and use it to find the information you need so you can get an A on your research paper. The first thing that you need to do in order to access the Washington Research Databases is log into Class Link. Your username is the first part of your email address, your initials, and the four digit number, and your Chromebook password. And if you've connected it with your Google Drive, you can just sign in with your Google Drive. Now, research databases can be accessed two ways. Often, I tell students to go on Mac and Via, which has passwords and things like that. But a secret and easier way to access research databases when you know exactly which database you want to be on is our databases folder. So go ahead and open that up. And on here is a list of all of our research databases. And if you know which one you want, this makes it really easy. We want Issues Understanding Controversy in Society. So go ahead and open that up. This database specifically focuses on controversial issues and organizes them by themes. So you should have gotten a list from Ms. Wagner that will tell you what theme that you need to open up to find your research question. All right, I'm going to open up Internet and Technology. And I'm going to do research on online censorship. Now, you have access to a variety of articles. Here's an overview of online censorship, a current view and outlook of online censorship that you could use and background about online censorship. But the best place to start is this investigate activities. So go ahead and select that on your topic. The great thing about this database is that they give you your research question. Okay, so my research question is going to be, does anyone have the right to censor the internet? And they give you an article that you can use in your paper to help you understand that question. So here's this great article that's short. Most of their articles are around one page in length that tells me a little bit about this issue and things I should know in order to write a good paper. To save this article so I can access it again, I just hit the Save button and I hit Save to my Google Drive. And then it's going to connect it right to my Google Drive and now I will always have access to this article. You really want to do this because research databases are password protected. So if you just save the URL at the top here, and you wouldn't be able to get back to it. So you definitely want to save every article you use to your drive. The other cool features that they have is they give you a uh, activity worksheet that could help you and think about different issues within your topic of internet censorship. So here's like difference in international laws, political, economic, crime, safety. This could help you organize your research paper. Then they also give you two more sources that talk about both sides of the issue. So for example, this first source, the unique threat posed by internet crime, I can save this one to my drive, it gives us one side of this issue about internet regulation. And then the other article, Government Internet Censorship is a Losing Proposition, is going to argue the other side of the issue. So again, you read both articles and now you've seen both sides in an unbiased manner. 
And remember, I'd want to save both of these articles to my drive. And that is all that you need to do to get started doing research on your controversial topic. Remember, each of these links will link you to other articles that you can also use for your topic as well. As you can see, this is a really easy to use databases and it should make your research paper very easy for you to be successful with. If you have more questions, you know you can always find me, Ms. Smith, in the library. Have a great day.